welcome back to black pair medium shooting if you don't want to use this as a billy club and you want to work better i'm going to show you seven quick tips on how to make this rascal work let's get right into it oh yeah Suggestion number one when shooting any type of black powder firearms is this. Ear protection and eyewear is strongly recommended. It helps when you go to the range or even if you're shooting by yourself in the woods to be organized. Yeah, let's see, I gotta get ready to pour some powder into the thing. And I get my patches out. Get the round balls out. Mark, daylight's burning. It's your time to shoot. Do you want us to skip you this round and come back and get you later? Oh no, let's get organized. Get this thing ready to go. Probably one of the first things you should do as getting started in the muzzle loading is to check to see if the gun is loaded or not. You especially want to do this if you go to a gun show or into a pawn shop. And the easiest way to do that is almost all of them has a mark on it. This one is right underneath the jag. It's just a scratch mark of pulling with a knife. So when you drop it down inside the barrel, first of all, it makes that jumping noise. It shows you it's hitting the breech. And number two is the scratch mark is even with the end of the barrel. That way you know the gun is not loaded. If you drop it down and it stops right in here somewhere, you know that the gun is loaded or it has some type of instruction in there. Be a great way to get you a deal in the pawn shop. Let the guy know that owns it. This gun's loaded and offer him a little less. Another tip to be sure that the gun actually works good is be sure that the flint is in the jaws properly. To ensure that the frizzing will actually work right versus your flint is you want the edge of the flint, this one's kind of rough looking, parallel with the frizzing. This way the whole flint will scrape down there to give you the best spark. You don't want it looking like this because it only scrape on the edge. So you want it all the way over here so it's parallel to the frizzing. Another tip to remember is you do not want it so far over to one side that it'll actually come down and hit the barrel. That's a no-no. So push it back into the middle. Actually, you can set it up next close to the frizzing. And a brand new flint will probably be touching the frizzing. So you want to tighten the jaw screw up so that it's parallel with that. Now the GPR gun, the Lyman's Great Plains Rifles gun, I actually have this flint flipped over upside down. It looks ugly, but I don't really care because it gives it more of the frizzing to scrape, ensuring a good spark. But either way that works best for you, works for me. Powder charge? Works great once you figure out what loads your gun takes. This one, I'm going to use 90 grains of shoots and 2F powder in it. So it's a smooth bore. Pour right down the old barrel. Cap that horn to keep it safe. The pellet ticking patch and a .600 round ball on there. Ramrod to push it all the way down. Remember the tip a few minutes ago when I showed you how that you find out if it's empty or not? This shows you it has a load in it because remember earlier, it went up to the jag, let you know it's empty. Well, now, you know it has a load in it. Good tip to remember, if you're ever in a pawn shop, you may find one loaded and you might be able to get a bigger deal on it because they don't like guns loaded in their shops. 
Put some shoots and 4F in there. Let's see if we can spank the piggy. Yeah. Yeah, spank me that time. I love thumping that rascal. Oh yeah. Once you've taken the shot, here's a couple extra tips to try to be sure it works the next time. Wipe underneath your flint on top and even the frizzing face. Now, if you have oil on your frizzin, you could take uh, alcohol wipes like you would get at a Kentucky Fried Chicken and open one up and wipe it off and let it dry. And that way we'll be sure that it will work the next time. Touch hole pick. Well, this one's made out of a paper clip. That's an old redneck version. But you can have an official one like this one that picked up at Dixon's muzzleloading event a few years ago by the Cabin Creek muzzleloader shop. Either one will work, but what you want to do is poke it right in the old hole and clear out the touch hole. That's a redneck version, and here is the official version. Clear out the touch hole. So the next time you get a spark, it will go through there and set the main charge off. Let's talk about priming powder that you put inside the lock to make it work. Several shooters use the same 2F or 3F in the barrel as they do in the pan. And if that works for you, that works for me too. So what I like to do is try the 2F in here to show you how it reacts and then turn around and put the 4F in the next shot so you can see the difference. Notice how big the grains are inside the pan there. That is 2F shoots in. We're gonna fire that, see how well it works. Yep. Oh yeah, 2F worked fantastic in that lock. Let's try the 4F next. Look how fine that 4F is in there. You don't have to put a whole lot into it. All you need is enough just to make it fire. Piggy, you're going down, boy. Oh yeah, I love that 4F shoots in that lock. Oh, that's fast. Let's put them side by side and see how they compare. This one may cause your gun not to work also. As you get your primer out and you put it in your pan, the shoots in 4F doesn't need a whole lot in the pan. But if you in a habit may be tilting your gun to the left, as you noticed all the primer goes into a touch hole. That may cause a hang fire. So what you want to do is keep it level as such. So when you do close the frizzin, you'll have the touch hole open, and it should fire beautifully. Remember, don't tilt it to the left. Keep it level, and it should work fine. <laughs> yes! I love it. 100% for me! Yes! Yes! I'm gonna wallop that hog up there one last time. Yes! Yes! Bonus tip. When you go out and play with these rascals, just go have fun. Be safe, but go have fun. And remember, Jesus loves you. Oh yeah. Thanks for watching, and we'll catch you on the next adventure.